A word of the day. A word of the day comes from the book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 23. And it says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Praise the Lord for that. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. It's a very interesting word today. God is showing us that we, we have eternal life through Jesus Christ. He defeated death by going to the cross and saving each and every one of us from the sins of death. But we know that those who do not follow Christ are still in darkness. They're still in death. They're still under the law. So they still will die. They have death. They are spiritually, physically dead. There is a spiritual death and a physical death. And the spiritual death is those who do not follow our Lord Jesus Christ. And woe to them who do not follow the Lord. They do not have this gift, which is eternal life. They do not know Jesus Christ. And we can see that this is where our world is starting to turn. It's turning away from God. Satan has just taken this world by storm and just going to and fro and, and causing our brothers and sisters that are not following him to not want to follow him. To keep them in that darkness, keep them in that place. Let's read a little more of Romans 6, verses 20 to 23. It says, when, For when we were slaves of sin, we were free in regard to righteousness. We were all slaves to sin. We all didn't follow God. We did what we wanted to do, and we thought we, we had control of our lives, and we made our own ways, and we all did. But then we realized that that was not the way, that Jesus Christ is the way. It said, what fruit did you have then in the things of which you are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death. We are new creations in our Lord. The things that we did, we know there was no fruit in it. It didn't satisfy us. It didn't comfort us. It didn't give us peace. It didn't. We, we can all see that now. That we need our Lord. And we know had we God not called us and we had not canceled that call, that those things would have led us to death, just like those that don't follow him now. This is why we pray for our brothers and sisters and we pray for our country and this world. And because we do not want to see the death that falls upon them that comes after that. But now having been set free from sin and having become slaves of God, you have your fruit to holiness and the end, everlasting life. You know, we are just here passing through. We have a home that's waiting for us. God has prepared a room for each and every one of us. And we're just waiting for that time to come. But while we're here, God has set us free from sin. He's molding us to be more and more like him. We have the fruits. We are here to bear fruits to his holiness. It says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. A word for the day. The wages of sin. In Proverbs eleven nineteen, it says, As righteousness leads to life, so he who pursues evil pursues it to his own death. We, we 
are righteous because the Lord gives us our righteousness. He has continued to do a work in each and every one of us. He's leading us and guiding us. And praise the Lord for that. We all realize that we cannot get through this life without our Lord. We know that that's where our blessings flow. We know that he is the one gives us our peace. He fights our battles. He rights the wrongs. We thank him for that. That's the gifts he's talking about. The gifts of our Lord Jesus Christ is that we just surrender to him and he takes care of it all. Hard thing to do sometimes. But we know how much God truly, truly does love us. In Romans 1 verse 32, it says, who, knowing the righteousness, who, knowing the righteous judgments of God, and those who practice such things are deserving of death. Not only do the same, but also the fruit of those who practice it. You know, when we, as we continue to walk in our Lord in the few years and months and time, we are going to see those who not only are leading people to death and practicing things that, that are not of God. The Lord truly tells us to not be deceived. To always be on the lookout. To always be listening. That, that's going on. We see a lot of corrupt things going on in this world. We see a lot of people that's preaching the wrong things. We see a lot of deceitful and dishonesty and, and everything. This is the world we are truly living in right now. And it just seems to get worse and worse every day. Some crazy thing happens on a daily basis. And God sees it as well. But it's not our job to try and fix the world. It's our job to just continue to stay close and keep our focus on the Lord. Even where we are, in our workplaces, in our schools, and, and everywhere, we can't fix the world's issues, and neither should we try. Amen. In Matthew 25, 46, it says, and these things will go away, and these will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. Those who don't turn and come to Christ, they will be punished. They will go away into eternal punishment. They will go to hell, really. But the righteous into eternal life. Those who follow the Lord. And there's really just two things. Those that follow God and those that don't. There is no in-between. There's no middle. There's no... So we do... As our brothers and sisters, as we continue to just pray for those who, who need the Lord, who need to hear from him, who need to be drawn to him, who needs a savior, who needs to be comforted, because that's where they can find their comfort and their peace and their joy. Even though the world may tell them that you need this to get peace, you need this to be happy, you need, you know. The facts of the matter is all we need is our Lord Jesus Christ. And one day, and as we continue to walk in this world and, and show that and be an example of that, people will see that. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this word today. We thank you that you are showing us that um, you have given us all the gift of eternal life. We follow you, we honor you, we praise you today. Let us continue to be a light. Let us continue to do the work you call us to do. Help us to continue to put our trust and our faith in you. Help us to just be an example to those around us. And that's how they will draw them closer to you. We are not of this world. We are just on this world. And we are here to represent you. We are your ambassadors. We are your saints. So help us all, Lord, and bless us all today. 
Give us your peace today. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you all peace today. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day in the Lord.